If you're a terrorist group, you might want to be careful about what you call yourself for fear of being ridiculed. Hi, this is Phil Gursky, and you're listening to a special subscriber-only Quick Hits. My top 10 worst terrorist group names. Number 10 comes from Myanmar, also known as Burma, and is the Vigorous Burmese Student Warriors. Sounds like a basketball team or something. And they're led by a guy called, wait for it, Johnny. Johnny leads the Vigorous Burmese Student Warriors. They once held a news conference at a place called the God's Army, a rebel camp. Uh, you know, kind of hit and miss. They're not a real serious group, but the name reminds me of, if you ever read Dave Barry, a Miami Herald, I believe it was, columnist in the States, he used to come up with the coolest rock band names of all time. Well, I'm not sure if this is cool or not, but the Vigorous Burmese Student Warriors are number 10 on my list. Number nine, this comes from Iraq. This is the Army of the Men of the Naqshbandi Order. It is a Sufi Muslim terrorist group, which is an oxymoron in itself, because Sufi Muslims are generally not seen as terrorists. They were formed after the U.S. invasion in Iraq in 2003, and they want to bring back the Ba'ath party that ruled Iraq under Saddam Hussein. So, uh, hey, losers. But men of the Naqshbandi order, it sounds like something you see by, like, by the Masons, or maybe some kind of like online gaming kind of thing. Number eight, the Lord's Resistance Army. This comes from Uganda. They've been around since the 1980s. Are they resisting the Lord? Or is the Lord on their side resisting other people? The thing about the Lord's Resistance Army is that they're basically going to form a new government based on the Ten Commandments. Probably not a great idea. They had a, a spiritual medium as one of their early members uh, called Alice Lakwena, who uh, claimed to be receiving messages from God and would use holy water that she would sprinkle on the so-called soldiers of the Lord's Resistance Army, which were supposed to repel bullets. They are, however, a very nasty bunch that are involved in child kidnapping and child sexual exploitation, but not the best name for the Lord's Resistance Army. Number seven, the Palestine Liberation Front, which is part of the Palestine Liberation Organization, not to be confused with the Popular Front for Liberation of Palestine. When I came across this name, all I could think of was Monty Python's Life of Brian. If you that scene there in the, in the sort of Colosseum, where John Cleese is leading his Judean People's Front, and they're making fun of the fact that there's, you know, we're, we're the Judean People's Front, not the People's Front of Judea. Judean People's Front. We're the People's Front of Judea. If you look at the scene, they go all around the stadium, and there's all these different clusters of people that have variations on the name Judea, Peoples, and Front. So when I think of the, the PFLP and the PLF and the PLO, all I think of is Monty Python. Number six. The Conspiracy of Fire Nuclei. This comes to us from Greece. They're an anarchist group that have carried a bunch of bombings and arson. It's not a, a very serious bunch, but the Conspiracy of Fire Nuclei. I'm not sure what I think about this when I think of the name. Do I think Smaug the Dragon? You know, who breathes fire? Uh, do I think Gain of Game of Thrones? And, and what are, what are they, what's the conspiracy all about? Are they part of QAnon? Are they predicting the future? Do they have some kind of Q-level clearance? Or do they have the conspiracy of fire nuclei clearance? Anyhow, uh, not a great name for a terrorist group. Number five, the Ku Klux Klan, KKK. Been around since the 1950s, but of course, this is merely the latest manifestation of white supremacist anti-black in the States that dates from the post-Civil War days in the 1860s. What is it about the KKK that bugs me? First of all, there's actually four K's in the word. The official title is Knights of the Ku Klux Klan. Now, you say Ku Klux Klan fast 10 times. You're going to have a problem saying it. There's too many K's. Uh, secondly, K stands for strikeout in baseball short form. So the Knights of the Ku Klux Klan have struck out four times in their name alone. Furthermore, Grand Wizards, <laughs> Grand Wizard of the KKK. What is this, Dumbledore? who decides that he's going to be anti-black. You've seen their costumes, right? They wear white robes and they wear pointed hats. Now, what do we associate pointed hats with? Remember the old dunce cap? The dunce cap was pointed. So what, what is it when the Grand Wizard of the KKK wears a pointed dunce cap to various ceremonies? It doesn't really sell it for me. Number four, Bang Zamoro Islamic Freedom Fighters, or B-I-F-F, -F, or BIF. 
Bang Zamoro. When I, when I first came across this group in the word Bang Zamoro, which is a location in the Philippines, I'm thinking Bang Zamoro is something you find on a pornography site, isn't it? Bang Zamoro. Uh, secondly, um, you can pronounce this as Biff. You ever see any movies where there's a character called Biff? Not a lot of heroes called Biff. What do you think you're doing? So the Bang Zamoro Islamic uh, Freedom Fighters comes in at number four. Number three is a group that's been around for a while that is trying to protest the Armenian genocide by the then failing Ottoman Empire during World War I, 1915-1916, and it's called Asala, the Armenian Secret Army for Liberation of Armenia. Why are they on the list? Because they have Armenia twice in their titles. They're the Armenian Secret Army for Liberation of Armenia. Well, no shit, Sherlock. They're not the Armenian Army for Liberation of Azerbaijan or the Armenian Army for Liberation of Austria, or Australia, or the Azores Islands. So, do some editing, guys. Take out one of the Armenians. Number two is the Islamic State. But not as the term Islamic State. In Arabic, the Islamic State is Dawlat al-Islamiyya fil Iraq wa Shams, which comes out as Daesh. The problem is, is that Daesh is also a slang term for bigot, which I suppose these people are. They're very bigoted. But interestingly, uh, ISIS hates it when people call them Daesh. And they've actually threatened on their propaganda to cut the tongue out of anybody who calls them Daesh. So even ISIS doesn't like its own name. So they come out as the losers on number two. The number one worst name for a terrorist group in the world today is going back to the Philippines, the Moro Islamic Liberation Front, or M-I-L-F. <laughs> if you don't know what a MILF is, I'm going to have you Google it. Parental warning, you're going to come across some very explicit sexual imagery. For a terrorist group to be known as a bunch of MILFs, doesn't strike a lot of fear in people's hearts. So my humble advice to the Moro Islamic Liberation Front is Google your name. And if you're not the first thing on the list that comes up under MILF, you might want to change it. That's my top 10 for the worst terrorist group names. In a few weeks, I'll share with you the top worst terrorists in history. For the time being, that's it. Let me know what you think. Love to hear what you have to say. If you want to subscribe, go to the website, borealstreatenrisk.com. Hit the subscribe button. Write your email address. Not only do you get access to all the information that everyone else gets, the podcasts and blogs, you get ones like this, which are subscriber only. Love to hear from you. Drop me a line. I'll talk to you again soon. Until then, stay safe.